down north, man, the heart of North Broaden area at the Mecca of Books and Urban Fiction and Urban Life, period, Black and Nobel, man. You know what I'm saying? And you're now in tune with Flea Fame TV, man. It's the exclusive YouTube channel, YouTube exclusive. Shout out to my man Showtime Tizzy, man. You know what I'm saying? Holla. How you get your name, Jimmy the Saint? Where that name come oh, from? Oh man, that's crazy. I got my name, man, when I was on the streets, man. You know what I'm saying my name used to be Slick Jump. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying I used to write graffiti. You know what I'm saying? And my homie actually gave me that name. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had some people working for me when I was in the game. You know what I'm saying? And one day I uh, pulled up on the block, in West Philly, and um, one of my uh, young workers was selling drugs to a, a pregnant woman. And I put it to the side, told him don't do that. Told the lady to go ahead, you know what I'm saying, don't buy no drugs around here. You know what I mean? And um, she walked away. My homie was mad at me because he's like, Jim, I was trying to get that money, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I told him I ain't want that money. So when I got in my car, he walked, he's walking away. He said something like, uh, it's like you're a saint, man. You don't know if you want to be a drug dealer, you want to be the saint around the hood or something like that. And another one of my homies like, yeah, that's who he is. He's like the saint, man. You know what I'm saying? He don't let us get no money around here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? We can't sell to this person, we can't sell to that person, whatever. You know what I mean? So, the next day they just start calling me that saint. Yo, saint. Saint. It just started just like that. They actually started from street dudes just calling me that because I was like, didn't want them to sell drugs for a certain individual. You know what I mean? So, my name came from the streets, being a drug dealer. Right. So, at what age did you get into the streets? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Right, probably like 14 or 15. You know what I'm saying? Because I caught a robbery charge when I was 14. Me, uh, me, my brother, and my homie, we robbed strawberries. You know I said I was just in the way. You know what I'm saying? So I got locked up. You know what I mean? And the judge didn't send me to juvenile. You know what I'm saying? He sent my little brother and my man to juvenile. He sent me because even though I had got locked up and I and I got convicted for the robbery and all that, the judge didn't send me to juvenile because uh, I had a good school record. So my teachers came and vouched for me. And said, he's doing good in school. You know what I'm saying? So he gave me a chance and he said. I'm not gonna lock you up because you're doing good in school, so I avoided juvenile time. You know what I mean? But I was about 14 or 15 when I caught that case. All right. So after that, you start, you know what I mean, getting more into the streets, and at some point, you come across Oskino and Sparks. I mean, you formed a group ICH and all that. So tell a little bit about that. Well, it was ICH way before Oskino and Sparks. It was an ICH. Um, Oskino and Sparks, which, you know what I'm saying? My little homies from around the way. It was, you know, in the game, doing what they do and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And um, it was already an ICH. And after I heard both of them rap one day, I just put them in a group, took them to the studio, and the rest was history, you know what I mean? But uh, we all from the same part of West Philly, you know what I'm saying? We all, you know what I'm saying, was in the game. And uh, and like I said, I just put Oskino and Sparks in the group. And that's how it started, you know what I mean? And, it was rocking with me ever since then. Then, then. then right after that, not too far after that, that's when I got knocked by the FBI. You know what I mean? After they signed their deal with Rockefeller. But they was members from, from the inner city hustlers, the ICH. You know what I'm saying? So uh, everybody know that. You know what I mean? The ICH days, the good old days, man. So you said you ended up um, getting knocked by the feds. And while you were in jail, you ended up meeting um, the real Rick Ross. Tell yeah, people about that's that. That's crazy. I met Rick Ross, uh, I was in the joint already, you know what I'm saying? I was doing time in Pennsylvania, Ohio, the feds, they sent you all over, you know what I'm saying? So when they, when I got shipped to Texas, I met Rick Ross the first day, you know what I'm saying? He was walking down the hall, and me and him was busting it up, and I asked to borrow his sneakers, you know what I'm saying? He let me borrow his sneakers, and he want, you know what I mean? Because uh, we wear the same size, so we wound up becoming very, very good friends while we was in the joint, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it's still my man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we want to write the book together, Black Scarface. I sat down with him one day and said, we about to, I'm about to write a book, a, a mean, serious book. And he said, uh, what's the name of it? I said, Black Scarface. And then um, I asked him to be the co-writer on the book. So, you know, a few months later, we was done. And then when I got out the joint, I self-published the book and put it out, and it wound up becoming like a bestseller, an urban classic. Everybody 
anybody got or heard about Black Scarface, if you didn't, definitely go check it out. It's like the number one joint up on State Road in the federal prison system. Everybody reads the Black Scarface, period. I mean, it's a four book series. So I wrote that with Rick, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and Rick sat down with me, we used to be in the law library, you know what I mean? And just writing little chapters at a time. Then we got somebody to type it up and edit it and all that. And when I came home, I just put the book out. And it wound up becoming very successful. And it's crazy because we're we're now in Black Scarface, we're now in Black and Nobel, where I put the book out. And this particular store, when I came home and I printed the book out, this particular store bought 2,000 copies of the book and sold them all out in like a few weeks. They sold them all out, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I came back home, Black and Nobel, because this is where I started from when I came home. This was this bookstore that supported all my books and everything I had to do. Like I said, they was buying two or 3,000 books at a time and selling them out in a month, in weeks. That's how popular and hot the book was at the time. So yeah, so you talked about after you came home, you became an author, and also you got back into the, to the rap game and stuff. When, um, with the reemergence of ICH, I made some noise with the city with Young Savage and all of that. So tell people a little bit about that, like how that came about once you came home. When I came back home, I was like, you know, I'm gonna start ICH all over again. You know what I'm saying? With newer MCs. But this time I wanted to switch it up. I wanted to grab a, the original ICH was a group of guys all from West Philly. You know what I'm saying? Then I wanted to switch it up this time when I came home and I wanted to grab somebody from every section. So I grabbed, you know, K Walker from South Philly. Uh, Scorpio Boy from West Philly, him and Shorty Raw, Sport from North Philly, Rain Man from Southwest Philly, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and Young Savage from Southwest Philly, you know what I'm saying, Spady from Broad, um, up here, Broad and Airy, H.H. Spady, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, so I just wanted to uh, get a group of artists that was from every section of the, of the city and just put them together and do something different, you know what I mean, and that's what, um, that's what happened when I came home and I put it together and I rode with that. Savage got real popular, the group was doing real good. I had them everywhere and everything. And then, you know, I had to fall back from that because it was taking me away from my, uh, being a book author. Because that's what I do, you know what I'm saying? I like to sit down quiet time and write my books. You know what I mean? Put them out to the masses, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's where I make money from, being an author. I mean, um, being in the music game was really just my hobby, something to do. I mean, and that's why I wound up doing Urban Celebrity Magazine and the Urban Celebrity Hip Hop Awards.